This occupied duplex is priced right. The rents are high, but is it a good deal? Let's find out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise, and today I'm working with my man, Jay. Jay is an out-of-state investor. I've been working with him for a little over a year now. We're helping him build a portfolio here in the Cleveland market. By the way, if you guys want to work with me just like Jay, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you. We'll talk about uh, how we can get you started. But Jay, you just sent me this one, right? You sent me two properties you're interested in, actually. This one and another one. As soon as I'm done filming this video, I'll knock that one out for you as well. But this one right here, right? duplex and i see why you liked it right because it's priced right okay it's priced right and it's already occupied right it's just a nothing fancy nothing special about this right just like a regular lower income duplex okay you got all the tenants furniture in there you know nothing is like especially fancy it's all kind of dated but you know it's it's lower income so like you know not expecting the taj mahal so as far as like the condition of the house I don't have any issues. I think that's fine. And as far as the price goes, it's rather cheap, right? $52,000. Been on the market about two months. And the address is 1241 East 137th Street, East Cleveland, 44112. And that right there, Jay, that is the problem. That's my problem with this duplex, right? It was priced at $59,900. Uh, for a while, but it wasn't selling, right? And we're getting decent rents in here, right? We got a 3-1, which is getting 600. We got a 2-1, which is getting 500. But the thing isn't moving, and they couldn't move it at 59. Why is that? Normally, when we have properties with this type of rent roll, if you guys watch my shows, I'm selling them, you know, in the 80s and above, right? Okay, why is this one so much cheaper? It's because of that East Cleveland address, right? For that reason, Jay... I don't think it makes any sense for you to pursue this one uh, any further, okay? This is, in my opinion, one of the most dangerous, difficult neighborhoods in America for investors to make money. If you look at the crime statistics, uh, the, the median income uh, of this particular city, you'll see all that. The city itself has uh, major financial problems. The city services are, are very lackluster. Now... Just so everyone is clear on something, East Cleveland is not the same city as Cleveland. They are two completely different cities. And East Cleveland is very rough, very tough. Holton Wise, we do not invest in East Cleveland. Uh, in our opinion, it's, it's just not worth the issues and the hassles. And then when you take out-of-state investors who have to outsource all of their work to professional property management companies in this market, I see investor after investor usually losing money, right? So normally I'd want to break down what type of uh, return on your investment and profit you could actually take home of this $1,100 in rent that you're bringing in, but I can't I can't estimate that for you on a property like this, right? I give you guys reasonable expectations of performance, but when you're in such a blighted neighborhood like this, it is impossible to put my finger on the type of, uh, you know, the type of performance I think you're going to get, right? Like Holton Wise, for instance. We do not take on management or construction work in this particular city because it's so blighted. It's so dangerous. I can't staff my company without a high turnover and pay my guys to go to these neighborhoods. You know, when they show rentals, they're afraid they're going to get shot, stabbed, robbed. We're afraid our trucks are going to get broken too, right? So if I keep sending employees out to neighborhoods like this, they're just going to quit. It's very tough to staff my uh, construction and property management businesses. And you'll find that a lot of other licensed property managers, the legitimate property managers in this market, uh, they typically steer away from these types of neighborhoods as well, right? So then that leads you, being a new out-of-state investor who's got to outsource this, who are you going to hire to handle the management? What type of quality work are you going to get done, right? You're going to go on Craigslist, get those Craigslist cowboys, those one-man shops that don't really know how to operate this business professionally, don't put 
the tenant security deposit in a state audited uh, broker trust account, things of that nature, right? So how am I supposed to, uh, you know, estimate what your expenses are when you're probably going to have to hire unreasonable or unqualified uh, or unlicensed individuals to handle this? And then, of course, the type of blight you have in this neighborhood when the properties go vacant, uh, you know, your furnaces, your hot water tanks, all the copper, copper wiring or the, you know, the electric wiring and all that jazz, right? All that can get stolen. Very common. It's, it's very, very tough neighborhood, right? Uh, and a couple other things, too. If you'll see, 52000 I mean, that's quite a bit of money to invest in this neighborhood. Now, normally when I pull cops in, uh, you know, I was about to say rural, not rural, uh, densely populated areas, right? Cities, not rural, right? Cities like this, okay? What I do, quarter mile comps, uh, six month time frame, right? I want to pull all the properties that sold that are similar to yours in a quarter mile over the last six months. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Super blighted, tough neighborhoods like this. They have so few sales that I had to expand it, right? In the last six months, I think we only had like one sale, okay? So I actually had to expand it all the way out by five years, and I was only able to come up with nine properties that have sold in a quarter mile radius. Likewise, if you are in like a more reasonable working class, like C-class neighborhood, over uh, the course of five years, we'd probably have like, you know, three, four, five hundred uh, comps to work with, not just nine, which by the way, if you haven't heard of this yet, folks, you're trying to get in the Cleveland market, uh, if you hear me reference like this neighborhood, super dangerous, or you hear me say C-Class, what you guys want to do is either Google or go to the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com. Google or check there for the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. That is a guide I created. I graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale, A being the lowest risk, F being the highest risk. This city... F, okay, highest risk. But those five year comps, I'm just going to run through them for you. Uh, this first house sold for 2,800. Next one, 7,600. Then we got one for 12 and a half, another one for 12 and a half, one for 19.9, one for 20, one for 34 and a half, one for 47.9, and one for 64,000. So if you were to purchase this property, Jay, you would have purchased the second most expensive city or property in this area, right? You would, you would have purchased the second most expensive property in the general area. Uh, over the last five years, okay? That's not what you want to do, guys. Real estate principles buy the crummiest house on the nicest street, right? You don't want to have the most expensive or the second most expensive house over the last five years. That is not good. And then the last thing I want to show you, Jay, is if you guys are doing due diligence at home, the best thing you guys should do, well, the best thing you guys should do, of course, is do what you did, Jay, and that's order a video with me so I can make sure you guys don't make any mistakes. But if you're working at home just by yourself, what you guys can do, you guys can just pull a Google Earth shot, right? So this is our property, okay? Look at all the blight. You go the street right behind us right here, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, right here, vacant lot, vacant lot. Vacant lot, 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 another vacant lot, okay? All those vacant lots. Here's another vacant lot right here, okay? Just in the general vicinity of this home, you see all these homes that were so dilapidated and in such poor condition and worth so little money that it made sense just to tear them down. People most likely abandoned them, and the city probably took them back via tax auction, and they just bulls them because they retain no value, right? So for all those reasons, Jay, this deal, I know you were interested in making an offer on this one. Per your notes to me, you were trying to offer uh, $48,000 on this one, either with your own financing or you're trying to work out an owner finance deal with the seller. Not a good idea. It doesn't matter, brother. There's... 48k your own financing not a good move even if you get the seller to finance it for you it's still a bum deal i don't see you making money so i do not think you should purchase this property and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to analyze that second property you sent me 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.